Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program in my let's play of said game. My name is Hillstash. And this of course is our Comsat uh satellite dispensary system. And if we check the angles, Jewel is at 96.6. Angle to prograde is whoops, past <laughs> prograde. Past where I need to be. Here I am trying to set up a nice intro shot and And well, I should have been burning. Don't think it'll make too big a difference. But uh, now is the time to burn, so. Uh, so we're burning for Joule, of course. There's now The angle is 96.58 degrees. So this is about as close as we're going to get. And there we are, off to Joule. The delta V of this thing, of course, is... Uh, wrong. Pretty sure. <laughs> I think we have more than 260 delta V. Yeah. Yeah, I think everything's going okay. We're 2400 meters a second out. We've already gained 300. I think this thing's just messed up. And uh, everything should should go okay, uh, but I will uh, I will keep monitoring and uh, fast forward until the burn is done. So there we have a jewel encounter, and that's about as close as I can get at uh, this moment in time. Uh, I will add some maneuvers, and I'll do uh, some fun playing around, and uh, and we'll get, of course, this a lot closer. And then we will litter the jewel, the jewel uh, zone, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, run the yeah, fill it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm uh, chatting on Skype right now with a couple KSP friends, uh, Paul, aka Guard13007, and Julian, aka Werner von Kerman. And uh, Paul is saying, shout out for me running uh, recording with Skype noise, but haha, <laughs> little as you know, I've got the Skype noise turned off because uh, a number of videos ago, <laughs> I actually did do that, have Skype noises popping up during the recording, so. Not this time, my friend. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'll bring you back in after we uh, get a much closer encounter. I've just been uh, playing around with my my uh, uh, maneuver node coming up here in 38 days, and uh, I think I actually have a dead-on hit with Jewel, which is good, which is really good to be able to get this far out. And that's only with 49.9 meters a second, uh, so that's pretty awesome. It's uh, I waited till yeah lose a lot of orbital velocity and and such, and uh, and get out a little ways before I start doing. Um, plane changes, and that that's, ends up being what is really needed here, is a plane change. Uh, still not right on, but it's pretty close, so you can see the dotted one still fairly high up out. <laughs> it must be a direct hit, <laughs> because that is a ridiculous uh, ex new app apps. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I will perform that maneuver, and then I'm going to swing around and uh, head into the system. So here I am in the Julian system, and I was right. I 
Uh, I did actually... I have no... currently no periaps. <laughs> Minus 20 kilometers, which is pretty fantastic. So I have to do a little maneuver here, 0.3 meters a second, which is going to be really hard to actually hit dead on. I will attempt to use RCS for it, but... Um, let's see. I might as well just aim right at it now and, and do it. Um, doesn't matter about the time being a day away or whatever. It's just the, the, the angle. Um... Yeah, so that was pretty awesome. That was, that's my best, you know, jewel shot, I guess, for from that far out and how, how little delta V I had to use <laughs> midway to to uh, to do any adjustments. So very happy. And let's see here now. This is going to be RCS burning for sure. I just want to turn it on and do the maneuver and get it over with. Just little touches of RCS. So, periaps now 126, 127. That's probably... One two, oh, oh, it's going up. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, that's probably... <laughs> I wanted a little lower than that. I'll just adjust it when I get closer. You can go away now. I don't need you. And, yeah, that uh, that's pretty much dead on. I've got a little Tylo encounter here afterwards, but that won't actually occur when I arrow break. I can see his <laughs> sigil, his his body right there. He's he's quite large all of a sudden. So yeah, they're on Lathe, uh, and I do plan on at least getting one a satellite if I can into or Lathe orbit, a little uh, yeah communication satellite for them. That's the idea, and I'll try to get one in. Uh, no, I won't be able to get one in any other planet. They only have uh, was it 600 meters a second delta v. I don't think there's. I don't think there's any way on their own they could get in around another planet. Uh, yeah, so we'll probably just have to <laughs> spew them around the system. And yeah, I didn't really think this through. I guess they don't. Really, they can't really orbit around in there too much. Well, one thing I should I will do is I'll eject one now. And where would uh, they end up going? It's quite. Quite the uh, oh, no, I, there's not enough maneuver nodes to show where the orbit is. But yeah, I'll eject one off now, and I'll, I'll raise its periaps up just above the atmosphere, and then uh, it's still going to have a, uh, a Tylo encounter, which <laughs> may screw things up further. But do I have to eject two? Is the question. Maybe I will, and let the no, the other one won't arrow break though. Hmm. This is a uh, yeah. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Will they? Will it be totally unbalanced with one of these off? Guess it's worth finding out. I don't think it's gonna be too big of a problem. Let's do it and see what happens, and we'll learn from it if uh, if things go horribly awry. Bam. Okay, and now we need to open up all the things. Power out here is uh, probably a little slower to, to come back. Now, now I still I think it's still somewhere around 90 that I want to point. Was it 90 that it was before? I think so. Maybe I'll do a maneuver node just to, just to make sure. So it's uh this way. What's that do now? This is a little confusing. Sorry about this. So it's Okay, that's too much, but now Okay, there it goes. We need we still need it, but just Okay, 177's out of the atmosphere, so yeah, half a meter a second burn. Pretty doable. And I was pretty close on that angle. Whoa, still want this on. And I have to turn on the engine. Engine is activated. 
There's the maneuver. Done and done. So now just that little teeny bit with that teeny little engine. And uh, and it's now going to pass th completely through the system, it looks like. It doesn't look like it has any encounters at all. And probably it looks like the... Okay, so okay, since it has no encounters, we can see what it's going to do. <laughs> it's, it's going to be way out there. That's awesome. I love it. Cool. For almost no extra effort. So that's awesome. Um, see you, little buddy. We'll check in with you later. And now this guy. Periaps. I want to actually bring it down a little bit. Uh, I want to do normal minus. See, it keeps changing around, even though I don't have RCS on. It's a little confusing. We still have 5,400 meters a second of delta V. Oh, and I figured out why things look so weird, why there was two stages there. It used the fuel from my upper stage. So, I will transfer that back in. Hopefully I'll remember to do that at some point. We have lots of fuel up here, so... Back there. Okay, uh... I'm going to say off for you. Turn the RCS on. 133. I want it. Is this the correct way to go? Why is nothing changing? It's actually going the wrong way, isn't it? Oops. Now it's going the wrong way again. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Retrograde is always a good distance to point if you want to lower your periaps. <laughs> ah, RCS. You can just chew through RCS. As we learned last video, <laughs> you st certainly can run out of RCS uh, if you don't plan. <laughs> I am still super, super impressed with myself about doing that. Uh, the uh, let's go off here. The uh, docking without uh, any RCS. That So now it's down to one... Hmm. Okay, let's try that. And that's it. Now we can just go in and uh, we'll do our encounters and have fun. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure about this uh, inclination anymore. <laughs> uh, hmm. Look how far apart the, these guys are now, too. Crazy. What uh, do I want to do here? And this would probably take a ridiculous amount of delta V. Not that way. No, it's not that bad. I think it's worth doing to to end up being more in the orbital plane. It gives me a better Tylo encounter as well, so 140 meters a second. So we'll just, uh, we'll do that. That's that's not that, that big of a, a deal. Um, oh, it's taking a long, long way to get over to that node. Or is it at all getting to that node? That's my dog again. Hi, Camber. What is it doing? Node. I do not know what it is doing trying to get to this node. I guess it's getting kind of that way now. Oh, now it looks like it's heading there. Slowly. Oh, MechJub, what are you doing? It's confused or something? I have to get the solar panels away. See Tylo there now. That's Lathe, I believe. And it's gone past the node. 
Is it going to try to go back? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> Good thing I got 25 minutes till the burn. Let's just sit here for 25 minutes in real time and watch it attempt to get to that node. Or not. But what is it doing? Where is it going? Okay, I'm gonna fly this manually, apparently. <laughs> Seriously. It's not even that unmaneuverable. It's really fairly quite maneuverable. Oops, didn't mean to hit RCS. <clears throat> Let's just get up to the uh, the correct... No, oh, you know what? If I do this now, actually, it would take less delta V to get the same result, so... going? Or is that close enough? I don't know. That looks pretty good to me. It's pretty close. Okay. Good enough. You can go away. Uh, and... Shoot, I didn't think that that probably changed that. It did. Are you going to be able to go retrograde for me? Yeah. Oh, well, that's fine. 198 will bring it back down to... Seven. Sounds good. Close enough to start worrying about uh, my panels, am I? A thousand seconds. Not close enough yet. Won't be very long, though. As we can see, Jewel looms. That is probably close enough, so we're going almost, yeah, 9, 8,600 meters a second or so. Should have I put all these on a, a thing. I think these guys are on a thing. Is that true? Yes a button to retract them. Why are you... I just click on there, retract panel. Retract panel. We are off power now. <laughs> As you can see this thing uses a lot of power. But we're only, uh, yeah, a hundred some seconds away. And so yeah, point one nine, eh? Uh, there is uh, re-entry heat. They say. Uh, I know in the past they've said they're they're not going to add that in because it's going to make the game too hard without making it either disableable or maybe or configurable. But I'm really excited about it. Uh, arrow braking will be. This is some of the last times potentially we'll be able to do any arrow braking like this. So everything's still okay there. Yeah, still a good distance. How's our other? It's, wow, it's crazy how the difference. I mean, I did do a fairly a fair other maneuver there, I guess, uh, other maneuvering, but I guess I should have maybe re launched it after uh, I fixed the inclination. But oh well. Yeah, so just got the classic uh, coming in over jewel shot here. I don't often take a picture sideways. Maybe that's there, dead on sideways. 
So, um, what else is there to talk about? 0.19, yeah, we're very excited about that. There's some other features that should be good too. They have the uh, testing uh, kind of uh, user group now for the for the release candidates. I don't know if anyone got in on that or not. That'd be if you had the time and and such. That would be pretty awesome for sure. Okay. Atmospheric interface is not very far away. Got to bring that Apple apps to the positive numbers. How are we doing? Oh, there we are in the atmosphere. Just checking on fuel. Just a ridiculous amount of fuel in this thing. So certainly there's a lot of options available. Um, I could send this into lath orbit potentially and meet up with the other uh, interplanetary stage there and transfer all the fuel to one of them and then maybe crash the remaining one on lath, I don't know. This thing's going to get a good amount of fuel and have it's got a pretty good delta V on its own once it's filled up. Alright. Now is that, what's that Tylo encounter going to do? Knowing my luck. Yeah, it's decreasing. <laughs> so no, knowing my luck, I'll uh end up hitting Tylo, and this whole thing will be a bust. Although I'm pretty sure I'll have the Delta V to escape it. Any collisions if need be. Oh, Tylo, you big brute. Oh, certain, that's starting to go back up now. Did it pass above or below? or? Probably below, judging based on that <laughs> fairly ridiculous uh, thing that's going on there. So we may have to avoid Tylo to avoid uh, a ridiculous plane change. How are we doing now, though? We are going back up, so hmm. Let me figure this out. Doo -doo -doo. So that's about it for that, is it? <laughs> well, let's go normal plus and change this while we can. I think normal plus will give us a good avoidance. I could be completely wrong. I think I am. It seems to put me on a uh, dual escape. <laughs> what the crap. Normal minus. Normal minus would for 800 meters a second of delta V. Hmm. Uh, what about retrograde? Tylo, why are you messing this up? 300 meters a second. Well, I guess that's the better option. I could also try... what does prograde do? Currently, it is making me escape. Mm-hmm. No, nope, retrograde it is. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, that does leave me a little bit inner than I wanted. I kind of wouldn't mind a, an intercept with Bop or, or uh, Paul. But... That's okay. Will you go node now? Sure, now it looks like it'll easily go node. Again, I'm going to do the burn now, even though it's a minute away, because the quicker I do it, the less delta V it will take. Oh, 
What happens if I leave it there? No, it's still fairly inclined. That's probably about as good as it's going to get, eh? I can fix the inclination a little bit later. I've got the, certainly got the delta V for it, so that's good enough. Cancel that maneuver. And we are captured. Now, how's that other... Well, that's the other probe still isn't even there. Wow. So I'm still giving myself a Tylo encounter as well. I wonder from there, that far out of Tylo, could it, a probe, get captured? I don't know. Maybe I'll leave that for the next episode because, yeah, it's getting late. I've had a long week. It's been very busy. Um, looking forward to having a weekend this weekend, though. So, that's awesome. There's Tylo there now. Shaking my fist at it. Er. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is Hillstash. And from the Julian system, I bid you adieu. See you soon. 3007 and Julian, a.k.a. Werner von Kerman and uh, Paul is saying shout out for me running uh, recording with Skype noise but haha uh, little does he know I've got the Skype noise turned off because uh, a number of videos ago <laughs> I actually did do that have Skype noises popping up during the recording so not this time my friend okay uh, anyway I'll bring you back in after we uh, get a much closer encounter I've just been uh, playing around with my my uh, uh, maneuver node coming up here in 38 days, and uh, I think I actually have a dead-on hit with Jewel, which is good, which is really good to be able to get this far out. And that's only with 49.9 meters a second, uh, so that's pretty awesome. It's uh, I waited till yeah, lose a lot of orbital velocity and and such, and uh, and get out a little ways before I start doing. Um, plane changes, and that that's, ends up being what is really needed here, is a plane change. Uh, still not right on, but it's pretty close, so you can see the dotted one still fairly high up out. <laughs> it must be a direct hit, <laughs> because that is a ridiculous uh, ex new app Um uh, Yeah. Anyway, uh, I will perform that maneuver, and then I'm going to swing around and uh, head into the system. So here I am in the Julian system, and... So there we have a jewel encounter, and that's about as close as I can get at uh, this moment in time. Uh, I will add some maneuvers, and I'll do uh, some fun playing around, and uh, and we'll get, of course, this a lot closer. And then we will litter the jewel, the jewel uh, zone, and uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, run the yeah, do it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm uh, chatting on Skype right now with a couple KSP friends. Uh, Paul, aka Guard, one. Hello, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program in my Let's Play of said game. My name is Hillstash, and this, of course, is our ComSat uh, satellite dispensary system. And we check the angles. Jewel is at 
Angle to prograde is, whoops, past <laughs> prograde. Past where I need to be. Here I am trying to set up a nice intro shot. And, and well, I should have been burning. Don't think it'll make too big of a difference. But uh, now is the time to burn, so. Uh, so we're burning for Jewel, of course. There's now The angle is 96.58 degrees. So this is about as close as we're going to get. And there we are, off to Jewel. The delta V of this thing, of course, is uh, wrong. Pretty sure. <laughs> I think we have more than 260 delta V. Yeah. I think everything's going okay. We're 2,400 meters a second out. We've already gained 300. I think this thing's just messed up. And uh, everything should should go okay. Uh, but I will uh, I'll keep monitoring and uh, fast forward until the burn is done. <laughs> 